Well, preparations overall for the big shopping event are already underway, so much so that Courtney Reagan apparently slept at a Kohl's store in Secaucus <laughs> overnight last night, either to, to bring us news <laughs> and good tidings or simply to get a, a jump on the deals. Courtney, which is it? It's a little bit of both. There's a lot of cozy stuff here, but uh, it was a lot easier just to sleep here. I mean, why not, right? Get an early look at all the deals and all the good stuff. It does look quiet here now, Brian, but of course the store isn't open. We still have a couple hours till that happens. And 36 hours from now, Kohl's is going to see the heaviest traffic that it's going to see all year because its doorbuster deals will start at 5 p.m. on Thanksgiving Day. And then the store is going to stay open until midnight on Black Friday all the way through. Some of those early deals for Kohl's already available online and it's expected to be a very very big shopping season again this year and a big weekend 164 million Americans are expected to shop in store and online according to the National Retail Federation Thanksgiving through Cyber Monday Black Friday though still expected to be the biggest day particularly for the stores now it takes an awful lot as you could imagine for a retailer's supply chain stores and website to prepare to really handle this huge influx of shoppers that come during this weekend you have to get the right product in the right quantity to the right stores and distribution center and none of that is a small feat and that's after what's been decided to be those doorbusters in many cases a year in advance or more. Now retailers have to lean into their stores more to make sure that they can fill those buy online pick up in store options. Inventory then becomes increasingly more important and Kohl's CEO Michelle Goss says 50% of America actually shops at Kohl's. During the course of the year 40% of digital orders are fulfilled from the stores but during the holiday season that ramps up to 50 percent. So inventory becomes even more important. Brian. Okay, Courtney, I'm going to ask you this because you know everything about retail. All right. I, and I see this everywhere you go on the internet. You see the <laughs> same thing. Buy online, pick up in the store. They're trying, it's like, it's like yep. they're trying to, it's like, I feel like they're trying to please everybody because it's like whatever you want, we've got it. But does anybody actually do that? Buy online and then go to the store and get it? Yeah, it's it's they do actually. Kohl's expects that it will fulfill five million units that were bought online and picked up in store in November and another five million in December. So that's 10 million products that are bought online and picked up in a Kohl's store. And the retailers like that too, because basically you're kind of doing the work of getting it that last mile home, right? They got it to the store on a big truckload with all the rest of the stuff that's in the store, but the customer walks in, picks it up and takes it home. And a lot of the time, sometimes a third of the time or more, Customers then pick up an additional Aha, item when they, buy, when they buy See, online they, and pick up in store. And they got that's you. A trick. They got you. That's the, so about 30% <laughs> of the gotcha. time they come in to get the thing they bought and then they buy other stuff. Yep. You know it. What's on your list, Courtney? What can we get you? Oh, I don't. World peace, sleep, you know, things like that. This is worldwide exchange, <laughs> Courtney. What is sleep? There's no sleep. Sleep is for the week. Courtney Reagan. This is true. All right. Well, this is true. You know what? I might be stuck in Secaucus tonight. I'll come bye. see you. Courtney, thank you very much.